fix coffee, pal. Then you feel better, maybe. Not enough for coffee. Say hi. Please, Manuel. I've got to talk to you. My name is Manuel. Okay, Manuel. Please. Okay. Where is he, Banjo? I mean, Manuel. Where is he? What you come back here for? Please, where is he? Is he all right? He leave. He go to New York. Look at me. That was 10 days ago. I saw him there. Then why you ask me? Because he told me he was coming back here. Maybe he here, then. He's in trouble, can't you? He in trouble because he go to New York to see you. If he don't go up there, he never get in trouble. Did you get my letter from General Delivery? Letter? Yes. The last thing Brock told me was that I could reach him here, care of Manuel General Delivery. There was no letter. You didn't give it to him. I tell you, he not here. Look, kid, he's been waiting to hear from me. Can't you understand? I that? understand. We were partners. We used to fish together on his boat. Everything was fine until you come here. Then we no longer partners. We no longer together like before. We... You're still partners. I know what it must have meant to you to find somebody, especially somebody like Brock. But I wasn't trying to interfere. Can't I like him, too? Can't I? Beautiful and talented Miss Connie Lee. Hello, Mr. Bergman. This is a surprise. Back so soon, I mean. Less than three weeks, isn't it? Something like that. And quite a coincidence. Coincidence? Why, yes. I just got back myself this morning from Havana. You came from... Where I live, New York. Ah, yes, of course. Where poor Dave... Yes, is. I know. Forgive me. An unfortunate association of thoughts. Another of the many sad uncertainties of the What is? Why, that one can never be certain about people. To kill a man over a gambling debt and only $3,000. Who would have thought it of a fine man like Rock? Let's skip it, if you don't mind. You've not yet told me to what we owe the pleasure of your return. I got my job back at the club. Bravo! I admire their good taste for asking you to come back. Well, nobody threw any tomatoes at me the last time. So, so they asked you to come back. As a matter of fact, I asked them. Ah. Why, ah. Things were dead in New York. Perhaps they will be more lively here. You must allow me to help make them so. So how about it, baby? Huh? Tonight, how about it? Maybe. What'd it cost? It's only two bucks. How you know? You steal it. What do you mean? What do you take me for? Do you think I give a dame a phony? 
took it to Garcia and I had it priced. And if you offer me 72 bucks, it's worth twice that. $72. 144. Eh? So, uh, how about it, huh? The tickets. The tickets for the lottery. Okay, okay. Well, Spargo, still putting pleasure before business? Fritz, how was Cuba? How did you get back? As I wired you this morning. Oh. oh, on the morning plane. On the morning plane. I happen to have business here with Mr. Compton of the packing company. My wire instructed you to meet me at the airport in my car. You got my wire? Oh, I sure, Fritz, but uh, it's a Friday. This is Friday. Can you imagine that? I thought it was Thursday. You thought. I don't pay you for thinking. You and your greedy little schemes, and your greedy little girl. He insults me, and you let him do it. Vamos! Fritz, don't be like that. Can't kind of guy make a mistake? I, I didn't know it was important. I'm, I'm sorry. The taxi fare from the airport was exactly $3.70, including tip. Robbery, eh? Okay, okay. Only got three dollars. I'll get the 70 cents later. Wait for me. I want to go into the San Rafael Hotel. Everything. Oh, like always, cruising. They had it beat up a badger team in this spot. Boy, were they old. That day must have been 50. Them old dancers, they sure get stringy. Old tenders, know what I mean? Boy, sure glad you're back. Have you seen Alfredo? Yeah, he's around. Be here in a minute. Yeah, sure glad you're back. Well, the place will seem less like a joint now. I'll see you. Uh, by the way, uh, what are the odds on Golden Prince in the third? I'll give you seven to one. Pretty generous. I can afford to. Been doing all right the last few weeks. Good for you. Connie! Yesterday, the police were here. They asked how it happened you were coming back so soon. They asked if the cafe sent for you or if you... We have to tell them. What did they say? Nothing. They live. Why did he come here? Why didn't he go where nobody knows him? He's trying to get to South America. He said he had friends here. He thought they might help him. He had to run. He wouldn't have had a chance. Please, you've got to believe me. He didn't even know Nibley was dead until later. We heard it on the radio in my apartment. It's no need to tell me anything. How do you want me to help? I want you to find out where he is. From the kid, Manuel, he knows. I saw him this morning, but he wouldn't tell me anything. You know how he feels about me. But I'm sure he'll tell you. I try. Oh, good. Never leave here in the daylight. I watch out. No one's seen me. You gotta eat, though. No? You 
get all that in one place? Nah, no one think anything. Okay, you just remember this is not a game. You go at the post office again? Uh, yeah, there was no letter. Ten days. How about the Dutchman, Bergman, he back yet? Not in his house. I looked through a window a long time. That's great, just great. Just great. Look, rum. You bought that? Not exactly. I just... How many times do I have to tell you it's against the law? Ah, uh, forget it, partner. Mm -hmm. You're quite a provider. Must have taken some coin to buy all that. What'd you do, sell some more lottery tickets for Spargo? He's no good, I told you. No. First I shine shoes, then I win in crap game. A crap game? Been a lot of silver dollars floating around that crap game. Most big game. You're getting to be quite a resourceful fellow, Manuel. Self-reliant. Soon you're gonna be a man. Then I can shoot the gun? Yeah, sure. How soon will that be? When you can learn to drink this stuff, when you can lick anybody up. When you can learn to stay out of a fight. And love a dame. Dames. Sometimes I think maybe you're right, man. Well, it's about that time. Turn on the radio. Mm, but we gotta save juice. We've been saving juice. Turn it on. Uh, how long are we gonna stay here? When we go to South America? Depends. Turn on the radio. Depends on what? Turn it on. Now, that show is no good there. Not as good as it used to be, but get it anyway. If that show is no good, then why do you want to listen to it every night? Get it. It's not on tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a big surprise. A charming young lady who was with us a few weeks ago. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Connie Lane. Was there a letter? I'm gonna see her, I'll find out. No, don't go, don't see her, she's trouble, she's no good. Lion is no good. Was there a letter? And I thought I could trust you, but we were partners. Like ours will bring you always back to me. Never say goodbye. Say au revoir. Even if you go to some distant star. Again, always to remain. So say not goodbye. Just au revoir. You're enchanting. I missed your last show, but I shall miss no more. Tim, please, will you join me? Sorry, I uh, have to press a dress for the next show. My maid fell overboard on the way down. Then after the last show, maybe. Maybe. Please, you must give me a chance to reciprocate for the pleasure you've given me, to make things more lively. Sure, thanks. You've never seen my house. I think you would find it interesting. I have a taste for odd things. Beauty, too. Now, if sometimes... Sure, sometimes. If you don't mind, I've really got to go. 
Of course. Any time. That's right, it's dangerous. Like I told you, kid, this is not a game. You want to be a man, you've got to understand that. Maybe it's not so dangerous if I go ahead, like that scout in the book you're reading. Well, Pathfinder? Maybe you're right at that. Okay, I go ahead then? Okay, you go ahead then. Come on! Dutchman's back. He's not at home. Not that night, Al. Come on, let's go around back. Who is it? Manuel. Come in, Manuel. What is it, Manuel? You come with me. There's someone watching outside. I saw him through the window. You come with me. Anyone no, sees it's, you. All, it's all right. I, I got a partner. Thanks, Banjo. Uh, did you get the keys to my freighter? Look, you stay out there and keep watch. Anybody comes, you whistle. All right. Alfredo's castle. Now, Alfredo's a good man. The best. I did write you. I know. I roomed with a girl once. She telephoned her boyfriend long distance, all the way to Los Angeles. Just got lonesome. Three dollars a minute, and she didn't know what to say. What'd you come down here for? I got a job here. Besides, a fella told me I could find him here. Simple as that, huh? Not quite. He said there'd be a place where he'd be safe. Yeah, I was thinking about South America. Well, I thought it might liven things up for him if he took a girl. <laughs> it makes no difference to me what you've done. Yeah. You know, at first when I didn't get a letter from you, I said to myself, well, why should she write? What girl in her right mind would worry about a man supposed to be a murderer? But you didn't mean but to. That's what I said. What I hoped was that she wouldn't be in her right mind. Then when I didn't get a letter, I began to feel like Manuel does, and you know what he thinks. All dames are no good. <laughs> of course, I'm older than Manuel, and I should have known better. <laughs> Don't be noble, Brooke. Don't be good. Be good to me. Be human, I am. I want to go with you. Please take me with you. No. Besides, I can't do anything to let Pig Bergman get you back. Bergman? Now, you know the Dutchman is always leering at you. He thinks you're here. What? Well, you've seen him? You talked to him? Yes, this morning at the dock. And then just now at the club. I'm sure he knows you're here. Well, he just got back. Well, he said he just got back this morning from Havana. And then he only thinks I'm here. He can't know. Come on.
McGregor. Who? You met him, the little insurance guy, Steve McGregor. Oh. Gin and bitters. Yeah. McGregor speaking. Hello, Mac. Brock. Brock! All right, go ahead, Brock. I'm, I'm listening. The Dutchman. You're crazy. He's a fat man, Brock, but nobody loves him. And remember, there's a reward on your head. Well, there's a chance. Yeah, but it's you that will be taking it. All right. Offer him 15,000. Don't thank me, lad. Thank the company. And good luck, Brock. You'll need it. Good old Mac. Then there's a chance? Well, not enough to count on. One in a thousand, just that. One in a thousand. Things are picking up. <laughs> I think I hear someone come. I make a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Planning to walk me to that interesting house of yours. Well, your moods change quickly. Temperament. I'm an artiste. You are a tantalizer. I like that. You fool me. I like to fool people. It can be dangerous. Oh, I don't think you're dangerous, Mr. Burton. Night operator. Java, the green peacock, Pava Mudicus, Ming Dynasty, Jimmy Walker Dynasty. The University of Rotterdam, Doctor of Law. What, no shrunken head? Please. About this head, there has been much speculation. Is it a genuine human head? The headhunters of Borneo, a fraud by Alistair Cockburn. Leeds and Son, London, 1901. May I introduce Miss Lane? Miss Lane, Mr. Alistair Cockburn. Let that be a lesson to you. You could have been sued for libel. <laughs> Wit and you like wine? I have a bottle of Johannes Burger 39, very special. I've been saving it for a very special occasion. Shall we have it? That would be fine. Spargo? Is that you, Spargo? Well, over here, baby. I really don't like to fool people, Mr. Burton. Uh, people are such idiots. They are forever saying I am rich. If it's money you want, perhaps it will simplify matters to tell you that I keep none here. Not ever. Sit down. I was thinking about giving you some. Money? $15,000. Does a man have to be forced to accept such a sum? All right, I'll make it quick. No doubt you read in the papers that Ben Murdoch was at Dave Nibley's house when Dave was killed. I did. did. Did you also read that Ben was insured against the death of his partner for $200,000? Yes, 
A not unusual practice in certain business circles. Yeah, well, let me tell you something about certain practices in insurance circles. The Acme people are not going to pay off on that policy, not yet. Not until I'm caught and convicted. Unfortunately, against Ben, there is only a possible motive and nothing to substantiate it. Against you, there is a definite motive and evidence. Besides, you ran. The police want you. Steve McGregor says it's worth $15,000 to his company to prove that the police are wrong. Mr. McGregor is a reliable man. A drinker, but reliable. And you believe this can be done? Well, uh, in my spot, it's worth a try. Very understandable. Please proceed. What if Ben got a call from an old associate, say from you, and you said to him, Ben, I think you're in trouble. It has something to do with the death of your partner. I think you should come right down here so we can have a talk. Now, if he had anything on his conscience, he'd come down right away, don't you think? Have that talk with you. If a man can be frightened, he may talk. He'll talk, particularly to an old associate like yourself who wants to help him. If he's guilty. There are so many large ifs. I was going to say that if such a large sum of money as $200,000 can indeed be saved for the Acme Insurance Company, $15,000 in payment for such a service does not seem very ample. Maybe not, but that's all there is. And that's for information that'll stand up in court. I'm a lawyer. I have certain experience in the techniques of securing admissible evidence. Yeah, I thought you would have. I'll leave that part to you. Well, agreed. Forgive us these business matters. You have been very patient. The occasion is special after all. And now the wine. Yeah. And now you call Ben Murdoch in New York. You won't wait for the wine? I'm accused of murder, remember? Come on, baby. Operator, give me New York City. Your attention, please. Pan American announces the arrival of Clipper Flight 215 from New York. Su atención, por favor. La Pan American les anuncia la llegada del Clipper Vuelo 215 procedente de Nueva York. Where's the Dutchman? He said he'd meet me. He had to go down to the packing company. He'll be back time we get to the house. Don't worry, Mr. Murdoch. I don't know you're here. Strictors or anything since last time, get rid of him. Spargo, you look sour. Why don't you go out and get some sub? Take off your shirt. Vitamin D, good for the health. Well, sure, Fritz. Sure. All right, what's this all about? What did you mean I'm in trouble? Brock Miller's in trouble. That guy's gonna burn for this if I have to find him myself. Was it you who offered the reward for his capture? Why not? Dave was my partner. No, relax. Sit down, Benjamin. There's a feeling in certain quarters that it was not Mr. Brock Miller who killed your partner, but you. Me? <laughs> yes, you. You know Mr. Steve McGregor? You know I know him. He wrote the policies for me and Dave. Yes. Well, yesterday, Mr. McGregor and I were having a drink. Very sociable drink. Drink loosens a man's tongue. Will you get on with it? Mr. McGregor explained about the attitude of the insurance company. It's not merely routine. They feel that once Mr. Brock Miller is captured and available for questioning, 
They feel his innocence can be established. Baloney. Millet can clear himself, why doesn't he? Perhaps he doesn't know he can. Perhaps he has information, the value of which he fails to recognize. I don't believe it. Very well. Would you like a drink? No. Perhaps you're right. Drink makes one warmer. On the other hand, it quiets the nerves. There's nothing wrong with my nerves. Good. And it will be no shock to you to learn that Mr. Brock Miller is here. Yes, here, in Puerto Rico. In hiding, but here. He's been seen. It's merely a matter of time until he's arrested, until he's confronted by Mr. McGregor from the insurance company. Of course, the insurance company can be wrong. You, Benji, you are the only one who would know. I, I'm only a lawyer, but very experienced, very discreet, and very corrupt. Anyone in need of advice in certain circumstances could do worse than to take me into his confidence. Do sit down, Benji. You are making me nervous. Of course, no lawyer can advise a client without full details. Well, Benji? It fell right in my lap. Full details, Benji. I was spending the weekend at his beach house. I was tired, thought I'd roll in early. When I wake nights, I smoke. Must have left my smokes in the living room. Listen, Nibley, I got a lady in the car. I don't like to keep her waiting. Sure, I understand. Forget dames, you gotta have dough. And I'm all for romance, bro. For 3,000 bucks, I just don't have it. I was counting on that. I want it, and now I want it. And I tell you again, I don't have it. Well, then you're living beyond your means, or else you're lying. Listen, you two bit. <laughs> You should pay your gambling debts, Dave. He might have killed you. insurance people. You will just have to wait and see. And that's your advice? What else? Well, I'm not taking it. You're gonna find Brock Miller. Find out where he's hiding. I? You can find him. You've got ways. Perhaps. But why? Why? Because I've got to get to him before the cops do. You said get to. What did you mean by get to? Did you mean kill Benji? Can you think of another way out, lawyer? People are endlessly surprising. Take you, your poor partner scarcely cold in his grave, and already you plan another virtuoso job. I didn't think you were the type. Nervous and impulsive, yes, but a killer, no. A killer is calm, mad, but calm. I never would have suspected. Why, you dirty Dutch pig up. Careful, Benji, careful. Find him. Get started. Presently. In addition to being a dirty Dutch pig, I am also, as you observed, a lawyer. And as such, 
I will require a reasonable fee for my services. You'll get it. We might disagree on what is reasonable. My thought was fifty thousand dollars. Fifty? You're crazy. But the compliment you paid me a moment ago has doubled the amount. One hundred thousand dollars. But now look, Fritz, I'm sorry. It's all right, Ben. For enough money, one can call me anything. Fifty. That's all. One hundred. Okay. You'll get the money as soon as I see the insurance people. I must have it before. Before I give you the information of Mr. Brock Miller's whereabouts. In cash. Cash? Where am I going to get that kind of dough in cash? From your wife's safety deposit box in New York. Talking too much has always been one of your failings. But that'll take days. The cops will find him. Perhaps. Fortunately, we have the airplane and the telephone. Marvelous devices for saving time, and time is vital. Impress that upon your wife when you call her. We must act before Mr. Miller is captured. You see, Benji, it's a race. Who will reach Brock Miller first, you or the police? The prize, $200,000, and death for someone. OK, I'll get the money for you. I'll call my wife. And have her send the money to me. Better that your presence here remain unknown. Come in, Spargo. Making recordings again, Fritz? <laughs> Brock Miller in town? Now, what makes you say that? Just that the cops are watching that dame again. Spargo, that girl down at the docks. Here, give her something. <clears throat> Hundred bucks. Gee, thanks. Forget it. Oh, no. 70 cents I owe you. Taxi fare, remember? Even? Even. Come in. What took you so long? Have to wait till dark. Too dangerous coming daytime. Oh, yeah. He mustn't take any chances. He mustn't get caught. Will you tell him that? Is that all? No. Tell him Murdoch got here this morning. Murdoch. McGregor, that's the insurance man, saw him at the airport. Remember, McGregor saw Murdoch at the... I remember. And smile, Benjamin. I mean, Manuel. It's good news. It mean Brock get off? Maybe. Better than that, maybe. Okay, I tell him. Doesn't it make you happy? Why not? There's good news, no? Yes. Ha, ha, ha. Good news, partner. Good news. Now we go. Now we move. Hey, what's the matter with you? She tried to kiss you? Ha. Blessed Santa Teresa, make it that we go to this South America. Make it that we stay on land forever. Amen. All right, let's go, Pathfinder. You lead the way. So now it's ten to one, or five, or even. Well, at least I know Murdoch killed him, but I still got to get the evidence. Be careful. Don't get caught. I got the two best reasons in the world, and my neck is the second. You better go. Manuel's outside. He might whistle again. Yeah. Good luck.
You alone, Mr. McGregor? Yes. Man, you take chances. Chances? You gotta take chances, Mac, or you hang. My hunch was right. Always play hunches, Mac, even a thousand to one. Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that Murdoch's guilty. Your mind? No, the Dutchman's too, probably. All right, get him now. on the phone. Get him over here. Let's get the evidence. I found out that hide-and-seek is not my game. Yes, we need the evidence. He'll get it. He could get evidence from a corpse for 15,000 bucks. Or more. This came a little while ago. It's from the New York office. They've been keeping an eye on Murdoch. They know he's down here. And, and they've been keeping an eye on his wife, too. For your information, Murdoch's wife withdrew $100,000 from a private account. There's a bonded messenger bringing it south by plane. Outbid. In a word. Oh, you know Murdoch did her. Why would he come down here? Outbid him. Got no proof, Lang. Proof? What about the hundred grand? Oh, that business associates. There's any number of good reasons for business associates to transfer funds. And don't underestimate the Dutchman, Brock. He'll have an answer. And he'll get every cent of Murdoch's money, too. Maybe even the money that the company will pay him in time. We can't outbid that. It wouldn't be profitable business. Business? I'm sorry. Lang, I'll beat it out of him. You'll get caught. You can't risk it. Get lost, Brock. Get lost somewhere. South America, maybe? Not a bad idea, Brock. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. The break you get for being innocent. You could rock down there. I'm not gonna do it. My hunch was right, and I'm not gonna quit now. You'll be quitting if you get caught, and you will if you stay here. They'll convict you. You don't have a chance. Stay alive, lad. There's always a chance if a man stays alive. Slight difference between staying alive and living. No. Sorry, Mac, I shouldn't take it out on you. Guess you're right. Manuel, see if it's clear. The company will keep working on it, Brock. Yeah, sure. Something may turn up. Miracles happen. You know, if it does, then I'll move heaven and earth. Oh, forget it, Mac. You've done enough already. At least my conscience is clear. That makes a difference. Well, we tried. Thanks, Mac. For nothing. Don't quit, I will. Dugan speaking. Who's the freight? Well, I can be there in an hour, but... No, no. Quiet. But the price will be a little high for hauling that kind of freight. Five hundred bucks. Sorry, pal. I'd like to be accommodating for this particular bit of freight. But the price is 500. Okay, then. You lose $200 to your last week. So he takes it off, and you get $300. Okay? Okay, in an hour. Where's Connie? Didn't you tell her? 
she was singing. Well, why didn't you wait? I told you to bring her here. You tell me how. I it. told you. Okay, forget it. Did you get the dough? Mm -hmm. uh, what time will Dugan be there? In an hour. It's less than an hour now. We better go. It's long walk to dock. Yeah. Well, we got a minute. Uh, this place I'm going to, it's it's not much of a place. Is fishing there? Yeah. I guess it's fishing. If it's fishing, we get a boat and oh, we may got a fire anywhere. Uh, man, I'll... I'm going alone. Alone? You don't want me? Well, sure, but... I go, then. Oh, I'm sorry, Manuel. That's how it's got to be. But, but why? We're partners. Well, that's the trouble with being partners. Sometimes partners have to say goodbye. A good partner can do that. Goodbye for good? Well, those are mighty big words. I mean, nobody can tell what's going to happen someday, but... Good partners can even say goodbye for good. You're almost a man now, Manuel. Remember that. That's the stuff. Look, there's one more thing. Will you do one more thing for me? I want you to tell Connie right away to get Alfredo's car and meet me at the dock tonight. I want to see her. You take her with you? No. I want to talk to her. I wouldn't leave without saying goodbye to you. I want to say goodbye to her. Isn't that fair? Will you do that for me? By the way? I tell her. Okay. Go on, sir. Got the dough? Yeah. There you are. Do me a real favor, Eddie. Thanks. It's all right. You've done me a favor once. Besides, I'm getting paid for it. Yeah. Sorry the bite had to be so deep. But smuggling contraband, that's one thing. If I want it for murder, that's something else. Yeah. I'm new at that. Okay, let's go. Uh, look, Eddie, I gotta wait a couple minutes. Wait? Yeah. Listen, we get caught here, it's not just you. There's somebody I gotta see. She'll be here any minute. Shh. My bang. Right. Well, this is a fine time to be waiting around Five for Five minutes. Look, pal. I know that you paid Five me. Five minutes, Eddie. It's important to me. Okay. So I'm crazy. Five minutes. Say anything for me. Said to say goodbye. I guess he couldn't risk seeing me. I guess there wasn't time anyway. No, no time. It's just as well. I would have asked him again to take me with him. He would have said no again. It's much easier this way. He said no? What would you expect from a guy like Brock? A guy like that, when things are good, he wants to give them all away. Your partner's a real honorable gent. But some guys have to be so honorable. Randy Visconti. Coming. here for another 15 minutes. One so anxious to inform on a man. You do not seem very eager to have him caught. Don't you want the reward? You guys were so smart watching that thing. If I hadn't watched the kid, you would never get him. That's stupid. I told you Miller wouldn't be here yet.
¡Alto! Transporting murderers, eh? Very serious business. You're nuts. When I seen who it was, I said nothing doing. I was just leaving by myself. You will come with me. You got nothing on me. We will see. Never say goodbye. We will meet again So au revoir I'll not care where you go Or where you may be Love like ours will bring you Always back to me Goodbye. Even if you go to some distant star, you return again, always to remain. So say not goodbye. Can't I like him too? Can't I? I thought we were partners. I thought I could trust you. And smile, Angel. I mean, Manuel. It's a good name. Leave without saying goodbye to you. I want to say goodbye to her. That's fair enough, isn't it? Your partner's a real honorable gent. Why do some guys have to be so honorable? Never say goodbye. Say au revoir. Even if you go. To some distant star, you return again, always to remain. So say not goodbye, just au revoir. It was a big hit tonight. I'm not honorable. Why, Manuel? I lie. What did you lie about? I think he wanted to take you with him. He said... What did he say, Manuel? He said to tell you to come out to dock. You mean he's still there? No. He's gone. I think he wants to take you with him, but he just wants to see you to say goodbye, like he said goodbye to me. It's okay, Manuel. You're honorable now. I'm not such a bad guy when you get to know me. Brock liked me. There must be something you could like, too. You know, we ought to like each other. Can't you find something? Sometimes you smell pretty good.
Relax, Benji. Stop pacing. The race is almost over. That's him. That is he. Better go in the next room, Benji. Yes? You Bergman? Yes. Are you the special messenger? Mm-hmm. Come in. Did you have a nice flight? Fair. Good identification? Okay, sign there. So you collect curios? Oh, yes. Do you? Mm-hmm. What's your specialty? Shaving mugs. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Benji. You can come out now. Now, I'll go find out where Miller is. Perhaps you know this, senorita. Perhaps not. But your friend has done a very foolish thing. He has tried to leave the island. He's caught? He managed to slip away for the moment. If you are involved, we will find out. If you are not, forget him. Do not become involved. You will only make yourself equally guilty. something we can do. I'm coming over. Come on, we're going to McGregor's. Maybe Brock will go back to Shack. Maybe it's better I go there. Yes, he may need you. Run along. I'll go out the back way to McGregor's. Do not question me, Sparta. I've given you a warning. Be wise. Pay heed. Remember, I also make payment for interference. motive inspired Mr. Miller's attempt to flee the country. And may I ask what's thinking corruption of the One soul? moment. Came here to inform you that I have the evidence of Mr. Miller's innocence. You have? Yes. A conversation between Mr. Ben Murdoch and myself this morning. Mechanically recorded. But, but what about the hundred thousand his wife sent down? Your people in New York are very alert. Where's Murdoch now? Your house? My house. And the recording? My secret. You haven't told me about the hundred thousand. What that's for? For me? To direct Benji to Mr. Miller. Naturally, I have no such intention. 
I don't even know where Mr. Miller is. Besides, to connive at a murder... Murder? Yes. Ben is very naive. He hopes to silence Mr. Miller before the police arrest him. Well, you did frighten him. I do my best. One moment. Do not call the police just yet. No? They might arrive at my house before I do. Before I have a chance to collect from Benji. When I have, I will call you. It should be within the hour. Otherwise, it has all been a dream. Agreed? Paid at both ends. That's a fee. Especially when one is also serving <clears throat> justice. What about Murdoch? Where will he be when you call? Come, come, Mr. McGregor. If Benji is gone when the police arrive, I will know where to direct them. After all, I have a bargain to keep with Benji. I must direct him somewhere. Man, you take the prize. Tell me, how does it feel to have no conscience? Conscience? I have nothing on my conscience. Benji is going to burn. He will have no need of money. I have. Agreed? Agreed. Mr. McGregor, you are a reliable man. I trust you. What are you doing here? It's all right, girl. He's got the evidence. Miss Lane, Mr. McGregor. What happened? Don't worry about it now. Your man's safe. But you look all in. Sit down. I'll get some coffee. Coffee? We've got to tell Brock. We don't even know where he is. The old deserted house on the beach. Oh, well, we don't know he's dead. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? Wait till morning. And let him wait? How can we get there? All right. Uh, I can't go with you, but I'll tell you how to find him. Some hot? Cold is all right. I, I whistle like you tell me to. Yeah, I told you to do something else too tonight. I told you to, I told you to tell her to meet me at the dock. She didn't meet me. What happened? I, I'd tell her. What did you tell her? I. She never showed up. There was plenty of time. What did you tell her? I. I'd tell her too late. Yeah. So she couldn't show up in time, huh? I think you want to take her with you. That's why I'm still here. That's why I almost got caught. That's why I'm stuck, hooked. When are you going to grow up? And don't look at me like that. It doesn't do a thing to me. that information I wanted, Fritz? Of course. Spargo, why don't you go out and get some sun? Midnight sun. Does that have vitamin D, too? My sense of humor is not very acute tonight. Do you think he has a sense of humor, Spargo? How about it, Fritz? Are you sure you've got a sense of humor? I hope so. Then I'll tell you something that might amuse you. I already know where Brock Miller is, don't I, Spargo? That's right, Fritz. I told him. Down at that old deserted house on the beach. Practically in your own front yard. 
Where were you gonna say he was? Brock Miller has just escaped from the police. I know. Spargo tailed his little playmate. You think that's funny, hmm? Maybe not. Now I'll tell you something that'll kill you. Ask Spargo how much I paid him. He held me up. Ten thousand dollars. Doesn't that kill you? Now you tell Spargo how much I was gonna pay you. A hundred thousand dollars, Spargo. That's so. I'm sorry I didn't know that before, Mr. Murdoch. I'd have asked for more. <laughs> Doesn't he look scary? Don't look like that, Fritz. You're not going anywhere. You've got nothing on anybody. Nothing. It's your word against mine. And you know the rules of evidence, lawyer. Besides, you're an accomplice. So long, Fritz. Sit down. Relax. I'm gonna have a chat with Mr. Miller. You interfered. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I saved your life. I've could have told Mr. Murdoch about the recording. Of course, I don't know what's on it, but I can guess. I don't think Mr. Murdoch would have liked that. You interfered. What are you going to do? Put it down, Fritz. Put it down! We will just have to wait. What do you mean? Wait for what? What does anyone wait for? The future to become the present, and the present to become the past. Don't give me that. What are we waiting for? Spargo, you are an idiot. Like all idiots, helpless. Oh, yeah? Well, we're not waiting for anything. And you're not making any phone calls. Now, pull out the cord. Do it yourself. There's not much time. Listen, they have no time. Hello? 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 They keep my bargain. The recording in my house, in my safe. What's the matter, man? What's wrong? The old house on the beach, near my home. Murdoch's on his way there now. La policía, por favor. La policía. You are a reliable man, Mr. McGregor. Please. My curios. My collection. I would like someone reliable to <laughs> So 
matter with you? Are you crazy coming out here? Have you lost your it's mind? It's all right, darling. What do you mean, it's all right? Bergman turned out to be a prince. What are you talking about, Connie? You're free. Uh, what did you say? Free, not wanted. Free is... Funny, I never gave very much thought to that word until all this happened. No more running, no more hiding. Yeah. It's all over. Now I can go get a haircut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me something. Why'd you come out here in the middle of the night? Why didn't you wait till morning? You know, that's just what Max said, but... I didn't have a book to read. No book? Mm -mm. I got no book either. That's all I waited to hear, that Bergman had the evidence. It's such a lovely word, evidence. Like music. Yeah. It'll be music to Dugan and Alfredo, that's for sure. I thought I told you to put that gun away. When are you going to learn to do what you're told? Now go put it away. I am a little brat. Don't be so hard on him. Oh? Well, you let him roll those big brown eyes at you. It doesn't mean a thing. He's done everything he could think of to foul us up, and he'll try again. We'll be on guard. Uh, better be, I'm telling you. Well... to worry about one more. They know you killed him. They got it all on record. You're lying. It's true. I just talked with Bergman. He's being paid. You're lying. like you're a man now. Here, let's have a drink. Hmm. Torn. Here's how. Well, 